I will be presenting in a session which discusses the use of new treatment uh, for patients with relapsed chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Um, it will be quite a big session because uh, there will be talk on venetoclax plus rituximab, which is a very exciting combination, and then also data on the second generation BTK inhibitors will be presented. The work that we're presenting is um, one of the two um, second generation BTK inhibitors that will be presented. So we're discussing a drug called BGB3111, a second generation ibrutinib. Uh, we're presenting our preliminary, the, the early results from our phase one study. Um, and essentially what we've found is that the drug is very tolerable. It's got a very good safety profile. Uh, ibrutinib in itself is very well tolerated. Um, but this drug has the potential to be better tolerated because it's more selective for BTK and doesn't hit other off-target enzymes. Um, and so far, our, our results have been very good. So patients have had you know, good responses, but of course we need more patients to tell. Probably more encouragingly is the fact that when we checked our drug levels, we're getting drug levels probably far in excess of what ibrutinib ever reached. So we're now getting to very high doses of BTK inhibitors, and yet what seems like very mild side effects, um, suggesting that when you have a drug that's very selective and able to hit the target very accurately, that you can give very high levels of drug and not have much side effects. What we don't know, of course, is whether, whether hitting the target, which is BTK harder, will end up resulting in patients having better, even better results from treatment and only time will tell. The sponsor of the drug, Beijing, is looking to, to you know, now that we've found the right dose, to use this dose, this drug, at, um, in sort of larger studies, um, both phase two and phase three, in order to compare this drug against the best available therapies. At the moment, so, ibrutinib is a wonderful drug, but there are some problems with ibrutinib in terms of bleeding, atrial fibrillation, and other side effects which we don't know what they're from, but they may, be from because, they may be because the drug is hitting an enzyme other than BTK. So we're hoping that you can develop a drug that is more accurately targeting BTK, that you may not get some of those side effects. And only we need more patients to tell, but that is our aspiration. And the other thing that we're hoping for this drug is that in some diseases where ibrutinib have worked very well, but maybe it can do better, for example, in mental cell lymphoma and Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, where they respond well, but complete remissions are pretty rare. Maybe by hitting the target harder, you can get even more effect from the drugs, thus maximizing the use of BTK inhibitors as a class of drugs. That's where we hope to take this.